Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen, for the European Union is about to go on a wild and twisted ride. Hungary is all set to take over the presidency of the EU in the next year and a half. Now, if that doesn't send shivers down the EU spine, I don't know what will. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Piyush. The rotating presidency of the European Union is a never-ending power carousel. And guess who's up next? Hungary. But hold on to your seats, since the mere prospect of Hungary taking on this role has frightened the EU, particularly the Liberal Caucus. They are sweating bullets, my friends. Let's not forget Hungary's Fidesz government, led by Prime Minister Viktor Orban, and the European Union's institution's long-standing rivalry. Conflicts over judicial independence, press freedom, civil society, and the rule of law have been a roller coaster ride. The Commission has even withheld billions of euros in the EU's post-pandemic rehabilitation budget from Hungary. What a tumultuous relationship. The EU is now losing sleep as Hungary sets its eyes on the presidency in 2024. Hungary's grasp on the baton has the potential to act as a reset button for the entire EU. Hungary, the perennial thorn in the side, is no stranger to opposing EU policy and standing firm in the Russo-Ukraine dispute. EU MEPs have been feverishly waving red flags, saying that Hungary's numerous violations of EU law excluded from holding the rotating presidency in 2024. But let's be honest, we know what's truly grating their gears. It is Hungary's bold pro-Russia stance. The EU appears to have a problem with Hungary's commitment to peace. They'd rather provoke Hungary into war than celebrate its efforts. Budapest voted vehemently against sanctions against Russia and against military and humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Can you believe the audacity? But don't worry, dear viewers, Hungary will not allow this opportunity to pass by them. According to Justice Varga, the European Parliament was not dealt a hand on this issue. None of those dealt a hand had the idea that Hungary should not take up its rightful position. We are in daily contact with the General Secretariat of the Council and we are preparing for the task, said Varga. The existence of Hungary will keep the EU on its toes, calling into question long-established conventions and threatening the status quo. The European Union will be forced to reckon with a different perspective, one that does not necessarily march to the beats of the EU's liberal drum. Furthermore, the upcoming years includes European Parliament's elections and a seismic upheaval is on the horizon. Brace yourselves, for the Conservatives are poised to make a stronger comeback than ever before. This seismic political upheaval indicates that the current Liberal leadership in Brussels is poised to face intense opposition and pushback. According to a report by Euractiv, the Conservative nationalist ECR group, currently the sixth biggest force in the European Parliament, is edging closer to becoming the third largest group with 85 seats, recent projections for the next European elections in 2024 suggest. According to the projections, ECR was placed just below Renew Europe, which would win 89 seats, a 12-seat drop since 2019. So buckle up, a wave of conservatism is going to sweep in Europe. Hungary's EU presidency promises are going to be an exciting journey. The nightmares have only just begun and there is no turning back. Whether Brussels likes it or not, conservatism is ready to reset the EU.